Hi, and welcome to episode five of our removal series. In this picture, we have three people. We want to take the middle person out and move the one person over. So it looks like it was that way to begin with. So I got my cava coffee. Let's get on it. Wow. Like I mentioned, we want to remove one person from the picture and move one person over. So we'd like to remove the girl in the middle and move the guy over here. So first thing I'd like to do is make a stamp visible layer. Now, what I want to do is make a selection of all the kids. So let's try the selection tool and see what it finds for us. Okay, there's the girl. Click on her. Hold your shift button down. Click on the next one. And shift button, click again. Now, it, the choices aren't bad, not bad at all. But if you zoom in, they're not exactly what we want. So what we'll do is we'll zoom in. What we have to do is grab a little more hair. And we have to fix the hair and the face and everything around here. So what we'll do is we'll go a quick mask. Brush tool. Make sure your flow is 100%. Now let's make sure it's white. And we'll paint in what we want. Be as accurate as you wish. But in the end, I shall show you what we're going to do. Let's grab this guy's hair. Blowing hair here. Now, if we go down to their feet, you notice the one girl's feet is still not selected, so let's do that. And a little section right there. Now, the zoom out, turn our quick mask off. Now, what you want to do, let's go up to select, modify, and expand. Let's expand by about four pixels, let's see. Now, on this layer, hit shift backspace, and let's do it with content aware. And all the kids are gone. Now, what we need to do now is turn off that layer. Let's call that kids gone. Let's turn off that layer because we want to preserve originally what we wanted. So let's click on layer one here and choose the guy. Okay, good. Now, again... We'll have to zoom in to his hair because he's got this gray hair that's flying around here. Quick mask. Our brush. And if we're going into the sky, that's fine. Because sky is unpredictable and we want to grab as much hair as possible. And that's okay. In this instance, anyway. So what we'll do is we'll grab him. We'll make sure everything is grabbed, his ears, hair here. Now I'd like to go to his feet and grab, reduce my brush. Just go around his pants and his runners. So I want to preserve, if there's any shadow there, I want to preserve any shadow and a bit of the ground. And you'll see later why that is going to work out great. Okay. Okay, zoom out. Turn quick mask off. And we'll go Control J to throw him on another layer. Call this guy. 
Okay, let's click back on layer one again. Let's do the same for the girl. Choose her. Let's see how it did. Quick mask. Let's zoom in. Now we could go select and mask, but it's not really necessary. Brush. Yeah, let's just make sure we got everything, including part of the background. Because part of the background is important to where she's standing. Because we're not going to necessarily move her, but we'd like to preserve that. Now, let's change because we're going to have to fix her shirt later. So, change your brush to X, and let's color this part out. And it'll be a good marker of where her shirt might have been. We don't know that part. All right. Quick mask off. Now, Control-J, and the girl is on her own layer. Now, at this point, I'd like to select the girl layer and the guy layer, put it in a group, call it Kids, and put it above the Kids Gone layer. Now, we turn the kids gone layer back on and gone. Now, we can take the guy, choose his layer, hit the V key for move. You can hold your shift button down to move him fast or not. But let's move him over approximately to where we'd like him. Right about there, let's say. Now, they're close enough together. All right, let's take a short break here, kind of rest our eyes a bit. I'd like to remind everybody, please like, subscribe, and ring my bell, and so you can be notified for all further videos coming up. Thanks. Okay, let's clean up our mess. So first, let's hit a new layer. Call it Repairs. Turn off the kid's layer, and you can see his hair is still in the clouds here. So let's zoom in. And we'll use our clone stamp tool. Flow at about 5%. Reduce our brush maybe a bit. Grab some from over here. And let's just remove his hair from this section of the sky. No biggie. And the flow at 5% allows you to paint in exactly how much you want. And you can remove. Because clouds are unpredictable, so you never know. Now you can see there's a few spots in the trees. Same thing, maybe let's make our flow 7%. And same thing. Choose a spot. In our trees. And let's remove anything we don't like. I'm going to choose over here for the green part here. You can be as accurate as you wish. Whatever you wish. Now let's zoom out. And turn our kids back on here. Now, the only issue I see with that is now it's cutting into his head. 
So let's remove the pair repairs layer underneath the kids layer. There we go. Now you can do the same thing with the ground here. So let's expand the kids group. Hold your control button down and click on the guy. Now let's zoom in a bit. As you can see, there's a bit of a mess here. Clone stamp tool. That may be about 25% flow. Now let's invert the layer so we can work on the outside. And he'll be protected here just in case if you go a little bit nutsy with your uh, brush. So let's choose this over here. And let's just kind of clean up this mess. Let's get rid of this cup as well. Make sure that we have no repeating patterns around. If there are, we can fix those up later. But in the end, we're cleaning up this stuff around here. Now, let's get rid of this. All right, now let's make sure there's no repeating patterns. So what we can do, clone stamp tool. Let's grab some dirt from over here and just lightly go over some stuff around here and clean it up a bit. There we go. Now the next section to clean up is in between them. So let's zoom in, and you can see you can see once you zoom in, it's a bit of a mess there. So what we can do, clone stamp tool, reduce our brush, and if you wish, use what's on the inside to kind of just clean it up a bit. Now, if you don't want to use what's on the inside, of course, you can always use some other section like here. or maybe over here if you wish, just to make it look random. Like it could actually be there. Let's zoom out. Cool. All right, Control D to deselect. Now, what we have to do now is fix the girl's shirt. So what I'd like to do is select my girl there, new repairs. All right, let's zoom in. Let's rotate around so we can draw some good lines here if we need to. Now what we can do, from what I can see here, we can clone stamp a little bit more, but what I'd like to do, just to make it sort of symmetrical, I guess, new layer here. Repairs just above the girl. And because it's on a new layer, we can grab this part of her shirt and see if we can put it in here to make it look like it was all one piece. So clone stamp tool, let's grab your selection here, flow it 100%, and just kind of draw it over here. All right, now V for the move tool, kind of move it into place. Because it's on its own layer, we can do anything we want with it. So first of all, let's put a layer mask on it because we're going to be needing that. So let's go here. Control T to transform. And let's kind of rotate it a bit. Maybe bring it in. Right click in the middle of it and warp. 
So let's kind of just shape it a bit or how we think it might be because you never know how it might have gone. Now, it's covering up the hand, which is fine, but I want to see, let's go to your brush tool, flow at about 25%. Now, white reveals and black conceals, so let's have your brush on black and see exactly where those fingers might have started, right there. So, reverse your brush. Color this section back in. Same with here. Let's see where we have to go and where we don't. Uh, okay. Reverse your brush and let's just kind of paint in here. Now, if we want, let's clean up this mess here. Make sure you choose your layer and clone stamp about five percent flow reduce your brush now let's just kind of round off this section right about here so let's rotate escape now you can see that there's a bit of schmozzle here so again Clone stamp tool, make your brush a little bit larger. Grab a section over here. And let's just kind of clean it up. So it looks a little bit more natural. All right, let's zoom out. And there's our two kids. Wonder Bar. Well, that one turned out really well. It was a bit of a toughie, but I think in the end it looked great. Thanks for sticking it out to 40911. I'll see you soon.